Hey guys, hey guys. Welcome, welcome to day, to day 32. 32. Wow, I slept in a bit late. Let's see how these batteries are doing. Eh, not so bad, but not so great either. I really should have two more of these solar panels. The general rule is one watt to every battery amp hour. So I should have about four panels of 100 watts each. Every day I'm killing my batteries just a little bit more. All right, let's go ahead and peek out here. All right, coast is clear. Now let me start this day by cleaning up a little bit. Somewhere on this trip, I lost the broom outside the cargo door. So I finally bought a new one at Walmart, pretty cheap. All right, I'm doing this trip by the seat of my pants. I don't know where I'm gonna go next. Let's do a little bit of research. I know Death Valley is on my route. Would like to check that out. Wow, who knew there was so much to do at a place with the name Death in it? Wow, I found this guy's blog. Looks like there's a few ideas of an itinerary in here. And he warns that the gas prices are really high out here. Highway robbery. This Gas Buddy app is coming in real handy. It's a good way to strategically plan out uh, where I can get gas next for the most uh, economical price. That combined with keeping my tires full and also driving like a grandpa, 55 mile per hour, all that should combine to optimize my fuel costs. Hey, you, filling up your car. Did you know that you could get air in your tires? All you gotta do is pull into the Terrible's loop right now. It pays to be terrible. Alright, you know what sounds really good right now? I haven't showered for a few days being in Las Vegas. I need to get all this Las Vegas casino stink off me. Woo. Out here to take a shower. Oh my god, dude, these new tires. Huge improvement. I just want to have fun now. Just drive off road just because I can. These tires are like just gliding over these bumps. It's such a huge difference, man. Love these tires. Woo. Look at all these tires here. Looks like someone saved a bunch of money by switching to illegal dumping. Oh man, check this out guys. It's like a free hotel room out here. I've got a bed, TV, and a shower. It's like I got my very own one star hotel out here. Okay, maybe a half star. Okay, man, this is amazing. Woo! Ah, it's the feeling of warm water and body soap on my loofah. It's just stripping away all that Las Vegas strip sweat. Sin City Suds. Oh yeah, that feels good. I've got the intense heat of the desert beating down on me, but with a gentle breeze. It's perfect, no cold shivers when I get out of the shower. Now here's a shower tip for those watching. Friction is what cleans. You have to actually scrub a little to remove the oils like sweat. You have to do it twice. Just think about it. Would you wash a dirty dish in your kitchen with just your hands and some soap? Probably not. No, you need to scrub. I say a loofah is required and you gotta do a two pass clean. When I take a van shower, I like to conserve the water by taking a navy shower. That's when you turn the water on to get wet, suds up yourself, and then turn the water back on to rinse. Oh man, I really do love my Ecotemp L5 propane heater. Check out the link in the description. Buy yours today. Oh man, you know what sounds so good with a hot shower? A hot shave. I'm also gonna use this water to shave and then wash some dishes. Uh, let's just take a load off and suck up some of these sun rays. Just pray a little to the sun gods. Thank you. Thank you, universe, for all you bring to me. All right, I can't sit here all day. Pretty soon the shower is going to turn into just sunbathing, and I'm going to end up with a sunburn. And the second phase of my grooming is a double-edged razor shave. Have I told you guys how much I love my double-edged razor? It's my man spa out here in this desert. It's not for everyone, but with a little bit of patience, you gain proficiency, and in no time you'll be spending only 10 cents per blade and you'll have a baby skin soft shave if you do two or three passes. Well, all right, now that I've used all my water, let's get back on the road and drive into Death Valley. See what that's all about. Vienna's Raleigh crew, you can see how loud he blew, now that's a fine howdy do. Stay in your lane, keep driving straight or catch a stray in your brain. Go deep diving off the side of the bridge, off a slide in the skid, who wanna ride with the kid? I'm just taking note of the terrain here. Some twisty turns. Now it's starting to look interesting. Oh man, look at those rock formations on the side of the road. I'm loving these views out here. Some really unique sandstones. Well, here's the first attraction to stop at. 
here on the left. Wow, what's with these people? They're just going back and forth. I don't know, maybe they have heat exhaustion. They're acting kind of funny. Oh man, all these people with selfie sticks. I counted five people. They just look so ridiculous. Okay, so what's this on the right here? Looks like some sort of desert oasis. And it turns out that's actually where I'll be parking tonight to stealth camp in their parking lot. But for now, the sun is still out, so let's see what else there is to see. Whoa, this guy is brave. In the desert, riding on a bike. It's actually the cheapest way to enjoy Death Valley. A bike pass was the cheapest. I'm just not sure it's worth saving a few bucks. Okay, I've arrived. This place is known as Rock Bottom. It's the lowest point in the Western Hemisphere. It's below sea level, and normally it would fill with water, but the climate is so hot and dry out here that all the water evaporates and leaves behind this salt brine from the water. And that's what all these people here are walking on. It's a path of salt. Oh man, I almost want to get back to the van right now. It is so hot out here. But I think I'm just going to venture out there just to say that I've done it. Man, this stuff is super sharp when you walk on it. I dare anybody watching to walk on this with bare feet. Those feet will soon be bloody. Ah, here's another van dweller. These vents are a dead giveaway. I wish there was like a more stealth option for vents. Instead of opening upward like this, it would be nice if it just went like this. Does that make sense? I really like these uh, GMC Safaris. I miss the style of van. It's a shame they stopped making them. It's a bit better on gas mileage than what I have, but you do sacrifice a lot of space. Well, I'm on this dirt road, going on a hike here. Leads to who knows what. And just looking back here, here's the van in the distance. Uh, let me zoom back and you can see that rock bottom basin. That's where I just came from in the distance. It looks like there's a little wind flurry down there too. Okay, I'm on this hike here. I'm, I'm in sandals. I don't have any water, so this is just a bad idea. I think I'm going to turn around. I'm going to see if I can get back to civilization now. <laughs> ah, here we go. Little oasis in the desert. Looks like there's even an RV park here when I look to my right. Oh my god, that's a nice fan. This thing is decked out. Bikes on the back, air conditioner on top, awning on the side. Now that's what I call an adventure mobile. And here's a little general convenience store. Let's go in for a look. Ah, just my luck. They seem to be doing some inventory right now. And here's where I am, the Furnace Creek Resort. Pretty much everything is closed. Well, at least I'm not here in 100 plus weather. 130 degrees, can you imagine that? Well, being that everything is closed, I'm just gonna have to rely on no one, just myself. That's why I love having the bug out man. It's got everything I need. What I need right now is some stofers in a bag. Okay, I think I entered this park from the back door. I'm finally coming upon the visitor center, so let's go in there and check it out. Yes, scored a new sticker for the sticker wall. And then here's a 3D topology map of the park. So Death Valley holds three records. One for being the hottest place on earth. It's also the driest place in the United States. That's like a bad hair day every day. And as you saw earlier, it's rock bottom lowest place in North America. I'm so glad that I bought this annual pass for the national parks because it made this visit actually free. And they were helpful at the visitor center. They gave me a thingy to hold my pass on, the rear view mirror, and then they showed me where I can uh, fill up my empty water bottles. Probably a good idea to have drinking water in the driest place in the United States. Yeah. And I talked about this in another video, but here's Scooby-Doo on a van rented from WickedCampers.com. I feel like these guys are following me. This is the third time I run into them. Scooby-Doo doesn't look so friendly like I remember in those cartoons. Okay, this is funny. I'm driving out of this parking lot and I went the wrong way and the GPS alerted me. Oh, this is a pretty cool feature, especially for a grandpa like me who's losing his wherewithal. Grandpa Bayward. Oh man, it's starting to get dark fast. And now I'm looking for a place to crash for the night. And check out these coyotes. I wonder where they're off to. Are you guys also looking for a place to sleep tonight? See anything out there? All right, buddy, take care. Let me know if you find anything out there. Okay, I passed that oasis earlier and I noticed there was a parking lot over there. I bet I could blend in over there for the night. Do a little stealth camping in the cargo van. And it is a good thing. These hotels are over 100 a night, actually 200 a night for this one. Well, I ended up sleeping here for the night, but before I went to bed, I wanted to take a little walk in the evening. 
and I ended up getting really, really lost. I got stuck in this like maze of tunnels under the hotel. And there was even a bunch of waterfalls and streams in the back property. And I was just trying to find my way back to the bed on wheels. All I had was this little headlamp. I got totally lost. Luckily, I finally made it. And then in the morning, I woke up, looked out the window, and it was just me parked on the side of the road in the middle of the desert with nothing around me. It turns out it was all just a dream, guys. It was a mirage, an oasis, and I, I was so low on water, I didn't hydrate. It was a hallucination. All right, obviously I'm just kidding, but I did a little research on this place and uh, it was $200 a night. Here's some pictures of what it looked like. Uh, it's beautiful during the day. Pretty swanky, ain't it? Can you imagine uh, you're driving in Death Valley, it's getting dark and this is your only option for lodging at night? Holy crap, this is pricey. The bet on wheels has saved me so much money in lodging fees. Hey guys, that's it for the video. I ended up sleeping here for the night. It was really hot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't. If you super like my video, please consider supporting me. I put a lot of time and work into these vlogs. So if you could, uh, I'm not taking donations at the moment, but I would take a donation of a share. So if you want to share it on your social network, that'd be awesome. Two thumbs up right there. All right, take care guys. This video comes to you live from down by the river in a van. All right, take care, guys. Hey, guys, this is the crow. Caw, caw. Thanks for watching.